Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have another thrifting pickup video for you guys today. Uh, plus some uh, some big lot stuff I picked up today as well. So I'm just gonna dive right on in. So uh, the first five uh, things I got at a Hoax Treasures here. Um, don't really need this one per se, but I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll explain why here. This is, uh, never mind. Uh, this is the original pressing with the bonus track, Endless Nameless. You could tell by the way the back of the disc looks. You can't really tell there, but there's the, uh, regular end to the, to the album, and then there's a little gap, and then there's another, uh, yeah. So, it's the one with the bonus, the hidden track on it. And then this one here was pretty cool find. This is a deluxe edition of Marvin Gaye's film or album, Let's Get It On. Uh, two discs uh, with a bunch of sessions, demos, alternate mixes, and more. So I thought that was a cool find for 50 cents. So, yeah. All right, everything else here are movies. So. We have the two adventures plus online video game of Dragons, uh, Gift of the Night Fury, along with Book of Dragons, as you can see here. There's the spine, there's the back, slipcover. I think there's a, is there a code in here? No, it's just the video game stuff probably doesn't work but it does have the it does have the code here for the video game i don't know if it was used or not because i bought this used so yeah i'll leave it in there uh, i have no interest in, in checking that out but yeah so it covers a little beat up as you can see on the bottom it's a little torn but it's okay um the first feature is 22 minutes, and then the second is 17 minutes. But like I said, it's got um, it's got features on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or six different featurettes. There's uh, deleted scenes, previews, and more. So pretty cool, nonetheless. Uh, and I have this animated movie called Ah My Goddess. Not sure what it is, but it's put out by Pioneer. So looks interesting. A lot of holofoil artwork on here. And then lastly, I found another copy of Stranger Things season one. They thought this was a VHS, so I got it for twenty-five cents. But it's complete. It's got the it's got the the, the slip box. It's got the magnetic in uh, box here. It's got the poster, it's got the Blu-rays, and the DVDs are behind the Blu-rays. Let me pop it out for you. And, yep, right there. Two two DVDs and two Blu-rays. So for a quarter, I'll definitely pick it up to, re to reinvest into my, uh, into my collection back there. I went to a Savers today. I, did, I probably shouldn't even wasted my time going today because they didn't really have anything great. They had a lot of common stuff. Uh, but I picked this up anyway. The The outer box is definitely sun faded, especially on the spine. This is a... What year is this from? Uh, wow, it doesn't even say. Okay, that's kind of weird. I don't know what year this is from. Let me look at the disc first. Hmm. Doesn't even tell me a freaking date on the disc. Anyway, uh, it's a movie called The Cardinal. You can tell it's definitely sun faded on the spine. This thing is so beat up. Uh, even, even like the inserts a little damaged as well. But... This is a film that stars John Saxon, uh, Burgess Meredith, Ossie Davis, John Huston, Joel Haworth. So a really good cast. This is directed by Otto Preminger. It's an old Warner Brothers release. 
the movie itself is like almost three hours long and then there's a documentary on the bonus disc that's about two hours long so there's your two disc set with your chapter your scene index but yeah i picked it up for three dollars but other than that it's, this was the only thing i actually found and there you go I went to a couple different uh, Blue Ridge Hospice stores today. Again, they have a lot of stuff, but a lot of common stuff. Stuff I have, stuff I don't care about. Uh, this is the only thing I found today worth picking up. It is out of print. Uh, it goes for a little bit online. That is Interstate 60. It is complete with the inserts. The disc itself needs a little bit of cleaning because it is a former rental, but it's fine nonetheless. This is from the creator of Back to the Future, Bob Gale. He actually wrote and directed this movie. It's got a hell of a cast. James Marsden, Gary Oldman, Amy Smart, Christopher Lloyd, Amy Jo Johnson, Anne Margaret, Art Evans, Chris Cooper. So, yeah, definitely. And that's the reason why I picked it up. But, yeah, you can tell it's uh, formerly from Hit List show sticks video i'm not sure where that was but it was definitely in the area that i used to that i bought this in but pretty cool definitely looking forward to watching that one and then the goodwill they had a lot of like stuff they had last week um much they had less than what they had last week but some new stuff unfortunately i didn't really find anything i got this i didn't really need to buy this but i did it's got some good music. It's a multi-feature set. I need to fix the artwork. It's a little off. But it's a Mill Creek multi-feature set. This is a 50-pack of sci-fi films. Sci-fi Invasion. This was $6. But it's got it's got some good, good movies on here. Like... Um, Brain Twisters, I don't have that film. Uh, the Crater Lake Monster, uh, Death Machines, Extraterrestrial Visitors, that's a that's a hell of a movie right there. Hands of Steel, uh, Slipstream, Robo Vampire, uh, Rotor, uh, Invaders from Space, Horror High, you know, good, good stuff. So, definitely... Picked it up anyway, so that's it for my thrifting adventure. And then Big Lots, at Big Lots, I bought um, six titles here. Um, I haven't heard the best on this movie. It is an ROJE release. Uh, that is Mischief Night. This, I believe, this takes place. Oh, I guess it's not. A, I guess it's not a Halloween. No, it is, yeah, it is. It is a Halloween film. So yeah. I was right. So it is a Halloween horror film. Uh, this one I have seen. I, I don't remember it though. So I gotta go back and watch it again. Hopefully I don't be like, oh yeah, this movie sucked. Uh, prank. I remember, I remember watching it. I just don't remember the... The plot and whatnot. So, prank. Uh, another Shudder film that I didn't have. Heard this was actually really good. It's called um, Skull the Mask. It's a nice slip cover. And it's got different artwork underneath. So, very, very nice. <clears throat> There's the back. I like the way the, 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 the mask, the skull looks. Skull mask, whatever. Pretty cool. Uh, I saw someone else find this in Big Lots on one of their videos. Um, like I said, I didn't really need this either. Most of these I actually have already, but it's a cool little um, tin book. Steel, not, it's not steel book. It's a it's the ones that open up and have the little hinges on it. Anyway, this is the 11 Midnight Movies um, called Dark Moon Thriller Collection. Uh, obviously it's got, you know, Night of the Living Dead, Last Man on Earth, White Zombie, Revolt of the Zombies, Moon of the Wolf, Werewolf of Washington, Werewolf in a Girl's, Girl's Dormitory, 
The Devil's Nightmare, Grave of the Vampire, Fangs of the Living Dead, and uh, Zombie Hell House, which is basically House by the Cemetery. So, pretty cool. I like, the, art, I like the, the look of it. It's very shiny. I like the, the trees on the back, the bottom there. Uh, Blu-ray wise, I only got two. One of them I actually didn't need to pick up, but it's okay. I, I'm going to give that away in my 1,000 subscribers uh, at some point. So the one I got for myself was Held. I know it's on Hamilton book as well. Uh, I've heard mixed things about this film, so definitely wanted to check it out. And then the one that I didn't have to pick up because I already had it. I thought my brother needed it. He needs. He didn't need it. So uh, ABCs of Death too. Um, like I, I've told you guys before, I like the first one. This one was okay, but I like the first one more. So. I'm going to give that away in a future uh, giveaway when I reach a thousand subscribers. So that is everything for this video, guys. Um, not the best finds out there, but, you know, still okay, nonetheless. So here's my stack for thrift stores and uh, Big Lots. Uh, I used a coupon. Big Lots had actually had two coupons. Uh, $10 off 40 and then another 5 off 15 so I ended up saving 15 bucks. So I bought a couple other things, so I only ended up spending like $11, maybe even less than that on the, on the, uh, I just went like $10 on all those movies, because I bought some, uh, pillows, some replacement pillows for my, my bedroom, and yeah, so, anyway. I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. See ya.